I like how as soon as I'm getting ready to start filming, one of my neighbors had to come and park the car in the back. I like the whole empty driveway thing that I had going on. Man, I can't wait to have my own place. Anyways, this video has been long overdue and I announced it a very long time ago, almost, I think, in back in December of 2017. So, this video is very long overdue and a lot of you have been asking and me and Mike have just been slacking on it and I actually forgot I even had this. This is the LCI radio trim piece that I mentioned a long time ago that I was said I was going to install. Um, basically I had purchased the wrong one that doesn't come with the adapter. There's one on eBay, I will leave a link in the description. I think it runs like a hundred bucks or so. Um, this one was like 60 bucks because it doesn't come with this Y cable. Um, if you need this cable, I will leave a link in the description to one that comes with it. But I had Mike make this for me, shout out to you Mike, thank you so much for making this man. The cool thing about this is that it is gloss black and not only that it also has the LED backlit so basically around the radio trim there will be a nice orange light that basically lights up around the car already you'll see it in various places like under the little trim on top of the door handle it illuminates a nice orange light at night um, and little things like that so this is a nice little trim to add not only does it add a nice you know newly looking gloss finish on top of it it also looks much better so before I peel this off let's just get started with what tools you'll need and how easy this is and it literally takes five minutes to do so all you really need for this install is a t20 torx and a plastic trim remover it's really not that hard that's really all you need and maybe grow out your nails because there's a lot of little plugs that you might have to just like unhook so if that is hard for you and you have really fat thumbs Mike go ahead and wait for your nails to grow out or something because these little things get really annoying to pull and you can break them easily all right so to start the install just go ahead and remove this trim panel by using your trim remover Once you've gotten some of it out, just go ahead and pull off by hand. Just pull out straight. Once you've gotten the trim piece removed, just go ahead and flip it over and unhook this cable. It's kind of hard to do, remember what I said? Just be careful. Ah! Oh! And then there's a plug right under here that you need to remove. It's very hard to get. Just go ahead and pull. It should come right out. Behind. Once you've gotten that out, go ahead and put this to the side. Next step would be to remove this little panel right here. You do that by using your trim tool once again. Just pull it down. It'll slip right out. Mike has taken this out a thousand times. That's why it just flew off like that. Go ahead and unhook this plug right here. And now I have some explaining to do. So when you get this new trim piece, it basically comes with this plug right here and that's it, at least the one I got. The one I'll leave down below in the description will come with this as well. It's just gonna be a little bit more money, but that way you don't have to worry about making the cable like Mike had to. But the reason why Mike had to make a, a cable in the first place was because this is a male connector and so is this. So I guess in the LCIs they switched it up a little or something. So what Mike made was a Y cable, which basically is a female. You plug it in here. And then this end plugs into this end, and that's what powers this on. And then this end, the other end, will plug into this trim piece right here, which has a light as well, if, in case some of you did not know. So basically, it's just an additional wire. Um, these are all OEM wires too. These are from BMW themselves, so you guys have nothing to worry about if you do buy from the eBay seller down below in the description. But yeah, let's finish this up. Once you've removed that trim piece on the bottom, go ahead and get these four T20 Torxes. I'm sorry if you guys can't see, I really it's really hard to get angles for interior mods. Once you've removed those four T20s, go ahead and move this panel out. Then your radio will come out. Once you've gotten this out, go ahead and disconnect these two plugs. Oh no, I was wrong. You just need to disconnect this one. So now what we need to do is remove the radio and the climate control module. So basically it looks as though that it's plugged in or in there by clips. I'm not too sure. I don't see any screws holding it down. So I'm just gonna try and figure this out off camera and then I'll tell you guys in a sec. So give me a sec. Okay, so to remove the radio and the climate control out of the trim piece, you actually have to unhook and clip, unclip these clips right here. And they all clip in with this. So I know it's really hard to see, but it basically clips in like that. And what you do is you can take your trim tool and basically shove this in between the trim and the radio piece itself and like kind of get these clips off of it. So I'm gonna try and show you guys really fast what I'm talking about. If you look closely right here and here, there's these little clips and that's what's basically holding the radio piece in. So what you wanna do is try to get these off of these hinges right here. You wanna get them off of these hinges because that's what they're 
clipped onto. So you definitely want to make sure that these hinges are pushed up or in or however way. And you just got to kind of just shimmy this radio piece out. And you got to do the same for the climate control. So let me do that really fast. All right, so I got the climate control and radio out of the trim piece, but this is de definitely by far the hardest part of this. Um, let me try and explain this again, because I don't want you guys to be stuck when you're doing this yourselves. All right, so you see these little clips right here? That's basically what the radio and the climate control are basically resting on. So what you do is you take your trim tool and try to just bend these out of these clips. I'm gonna try and show you both because it's hard because it's, it's like connected, but you see this piece right here and this piece right here. That's what these little notches are basically clipped onto. So try and just push those out. It takes a little bit of you know patience, but you'll get it out. And basically the rest of the install is really easy. Now you can go ahead and grab your new trim piece and your old radio and climate control and just basically push these back into place. This shouldn't be too hard given that everything just has to line up and clip in. I'm gonna try and just do this with one or two hands, but behind the camera and make sure it shows. So go ahead, flip this over. Make sure these little things line up over here and here. Just push down and you should hear it clip in. Go ahead and do the same with the climate control. Should clip right in. Once you hear and see that, boom, this is our new radio piece. Check that out, look how nice that looks. Let's get this in there. I'm running low on time because it is raining now and I gotta hurry because all my doors are open. Now once you've got the trim piece on and everything lined up, go ahead and connect these connectors. So this male end goes into this female end, like that, and then this female end goes into this end like that but I'll do that at the end this will be the last thing we do go ahead and just tuck these wires in like right over here somewhere we'll worry about that later move these wires make sure you plug your CD player back in go ahead and put the radio in place grab your 4T20 Torx and screw them right in Because of the additional wires, it might be hard to tuck this back or clip the trim back into place. If this does pop out, I will end up uh, moving that wire and putting it somewhere behind the radio or something. But for now, it seems as though that it has worked. So now you just grab your old trim panel, go ahead and plug this in like so. And then do also the hazard light switch. Once you get that lined up, you should hear that click right there. Oh, there goes my hazard lights. That's how you know it's working. Line this up right here. Once you've securely pushed down all the pins and the tabs behind this trim piece, you're pretty much done. So yeah, this is it guys. This is the final product. I think it looks fantastic. Whoo, let me get out of the car. It is way too hot. But yeah, like I was saying, the, the trim piece looks, oh my God, like, look how much nicer my interior looks now. Like it looks, it looks sick. Check that out. Look at that. And you can see the LED lighting from the trim of it on the edges at night this is gonna look so sick i can't wait to get nice shots of this but look at how that looks compared to how it did look before i'm gonna give you guys before and afters um the gloss black looks way cooler it looks way better this install was not hard at all it's super easy um it made my interior look a little bit more brand new it reminds me of mike's uh, f80 m3s interior trim it looks really cool i want to get this wrapped carbon fiber or get the m performance alcantara trim but aside from that the interior mods are coming as you guys can see because most of the car's exterior is pretty much done but like i said earlier in the beginning of this video i will leave a link in the description i'm not getting any commission off of this so i'm only putting the link in the description to help you guys because it is hard to find with the little y cable and i'm not sure how hard that is to make i've seen mike do it it's not too difficult if you took your time into it i'll also leave a link in the forums down below uh, basically there is a forum that shows how to wire that Y wire Y wire how to wire that Y cable that Mike made it's not hard at all if you are somebody that is the type to save money and do stuff yourself but if not you can buy this with the Y cable and it comes with it they just charge you an arm and a leg for it because they know some people get lazy or they just don't have the motivation to make it themselves but really guys that's really it for this video I hope you guys enjoy this a lot let me know what you guys think down below if you prefer the matte or if you prefer the gloss black I'm sure a lot of you are going to say the gloss black looks sick, especially just because of that little LED strand that that rays under and hits the little leather on the trim and the whole, you know, the whole dashboard. It looks sick. Like look how look how nice that looks with my steering wheel and just everything. My interior has come a long way, literally just the steering wheel and that radio trim. But to me, that's a lot because it does make a gigantic difference. But anyway, guys, let me stop rambling. That pretty much does it for this video. Let me know what you guys thought, if you like matte or gloss black more. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Peace out.